Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here and I'm not doing a review of this, I'm just showing you a mod that I did to, uh, this is a, um, a Godox 32 inch Octobox that I got off of eBay and I always wondered <laughs> uh, if you have mono lights and stuff like that of course you know that you can mount your mono light mounts with like a Bowen mount and you're able to tilt your your lights, you know, 45 degrees or however you want to tilt them down. But if you're using uh, speed lights, uh, I have not found a box that will tilt necessarily down. Uh, it has this, uh, all of them come with this, this zipper opening here. And the zipper opening is where the pole goes through the box. If you have these, if you look online, you look at reviews, your your light stand goes through this hole and then it mounts on the inside I'm not going to take that apart to your uh, to the umbrella uh, stem on the inside but once you do that there is no tilt because the I mean you probably could tilt it up but you're not going to tilt it down so I just thought there was a real problem there to me uh, not being able to tilt the light down so what I did was I had my, my wife, who, who sews a little bit, help me out with this. And we made a cut in the fabric. This is a, not cloth, it's more of a, it's a diffuse type plastic, coarse uh, material that used in a lot of uh, any diffusers that you might have. Uh, but we cut it, I had her to, to cut it, uh, about where I wanted to cut. So now, and then put Velcro. And of course, that requires some sewing. I mean, there is some sewing involved. I don't know whether you'd be able to do this with uh, a uh, iron-on type uh, stitch tape or anything, because I don't know how this material will react to a hot iron or anything. But even on the other side of that, if you if you make it where it doesn't split anymore just by putting a cut in it might be able to get away with that. But now, with the slit in it, you might say it's Velcro there, you probably hear that. I can actually put the pole through the light, uh, put the light stand through the middle of the diffuser. And if I turn it to the side here, and I go inside and I can loosen it. Now I can actually tilt it really almost straight down. Uh, that's not going to affect anything and then with the Velcro, I'm able to close it back up with it tilted at whichever angle. So now you can actually get some degree of angle on your speed light or on your uh, softbox on this type of softbox. These are pretty inexpensive. I think this was somewhat $18, $20 on eBay. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. I'd say it is a Godox 36-inch uh, softbox. Just kind of want to show that, guys, uh, another DIY idea uh, to uh, make things more functional. I don't know why they don't have it that way or have some way of tilting a softbox with the speed light uh, inserted, uh, a, a speed light type softbox, put it that way. And that's about it. Y'all have a great YouTube day.